Hi, it's Andrew Larratt, General Manager of Sport Business at Sport Australia. And I'm here with Merrily Barnes, who's the Director of Safe and Ethical Sport at Sport Australia. Welcome, Merrily. Um, I'm interested to understand about why we've made the effort to develop um, some inclusion guidelines. Can you give us a little bit of an insight about it? Sure. As you would be aware, Sport Australia is committed to ensuring that all Australians can participate in an inclusive and welcoming way. So these guidelines go some way into de de delivering that. Uh, we're also committed to ensuring that we support participation on the basis of the gender with, with which a person identifies. That's really important. Uh, research tells us that transgender people really do want to play sport. They want to play sport, but they're often held back by exclusion. Uh, and the, some of the stats are just shocking, actually. Nine out of 10 trans youth uh, have experienced exclusion and peer rejection, and 48% of transgender people have uh, contemplated suicide. Uh, sporting organisations have come to us a lot over the past 12 months and they want guidance in how they can be more inclusive for transgender and gender diverse people. And so we set about uh, making sure that we could give them something. We partnered with COMPS and Human Rights Commission. Um, we needed to also make sure that they fulfilled their obligations under the Discrimination Act. And so the Human Rights Commission conducted a series of roundtables uh, involving over 100 people from NSOs, SSAs, clubs, uh, legal experts, medical experts, academics, and of course, transgender and gender diverse athletes and cisgender athletes. It's a huge amount of work, isn't it, that's gone into developing those guidelines. But who specifically um, are they for? Can you give us a bit of an overview? We believe that everyone involved in Australian sport has a role to play in, in making our sports more inclusive for transgender and gender diverse people. And the guidelines were developed for uh, community sport all the way through to elite levels of sport. And people on boards, committees, uh, participants, members, athletes, coaches and officials and parents. The, the essence of the guidelines are about challenging people to think about what's possible as opposed to what's impossible and coming at it from an inclusion first perspective uh, rather than the default position of exclusion because that's the way it's always been or that's what our rules say we have to do. Now, you know, a huge amount of effort to develop them. You've talked about some of the value and the people involved, but um, surely there's going to be a, a cost and an extra effort to be able to actually implement this and bring about the change. We think that improving behaviours and attitudes actually can cost nothing. Uh, it's, it's, it's clear that sports are all different, but every sport can be inclusive. And n most of the guidelines, uh, most of the tips in the guidelines are cost neutral. Uh, one of the simplest things a club can do is to show an outward expression of inclusion, and they can do that just by a simple message on the website or in social media channels. Other, other ways of, being, of showing how inclusive they are at a, at, a, at a low cost is to have an inclusion policy, a clear commitment from the leadership of the sport that they want to be inclusive, and codes of conduct have a zero tolerance to any harassment of anyone, but particularly transgender and gender diverse people. Uh, uniforms provide uniforms in a range of sizes and styles, not gendered uniforms, and also gender neutral competitions where possible. And when you're upgrading facilities, uh, think about having more screens, privacy screens in change rooms and higher bathroom doors. So there's, there's some easy low-hanging fruit that clubs can take to uh, make their, their environments more inclusive. Well, we want sport and physical activity to reflect the communities in which we live. Thank you, Marilee, so much for sharing that with us. We're um, making some progress, but there's plenty to do, so thank you. Thanks.